Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Chicken Police. We are on our way to Bubo's place to check out the info that Zip gave us in the last one. We know a little bit more about what's going on now. We still don't have all of the answers, but we're starting to piece it together slowly. And this corpse that Zip had to get rid of for Ibn Wessler seems to be quite key to piecing this all together. So let's go to Bubo's place where Zip Hello, was. Ursula, dear. Oh, oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? It's Ursula, okay. Wrong? Wrong? That dim-witted, insane, ragged old, stinky owl! That's what's wrong! Okay. Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What's happened here? What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. Whoops. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> and? Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help. Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Well, we didn't really want to come back here. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us with the car. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to regret it. I, I can see why. <laughs> was rough. Yeah. But understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. <laughs> that's probably true. Right, okay. So here we are, back in Bubo's office. Uh, I was never so scared as when I was lying here and you were leaning over me, Doc. Do you mean that time when McChicken shot you? Yeah. Yep. That was a night to remember. We still don't know what happened. Don't even mention it. Good old days. Really, Marty? Good old days when you shot us, was it? Uh, anything new in here? Don't think there is. So, should we just talk to Bubo? Hey, what's up, Doc? Somehow we guessed we'd find you still awake. Stop playing innocent. I've heard <laughs> that little intermittent. Because he's an owl. I have the ears of an owl, you know. We're very sorry, Bubo. I'm sure she'll come back. Will of she? Of course she'll come back. She loves me. I don't know why. And she's afraid that I'll drink myself to death once she's gone for good. She's not wrong about that. <laughs> what do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Oh, we're just getting started, Bubo, old buddy. We're here for some information. Then we'll be out of your hair. I mean, feathers. <laughs> Who cares? So what do you want? And be quick about it. Um, we want some information about Zip. Okay, here we go. Let's ask about Ursula first. Say, Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. What if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining. And Ursula always comes back. Exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Let's hope you're right about that, that shall we? Be, you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Um, yeah. I trust. I wonder what happened to Molly. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. Like, I wonder if she's somewhere in the city or whether she left altogether. I don't know. Right, the strange wristband. What do you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. Is D 
different. And? Different how? What? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? <laughs> okay, let's try another approach. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, uh, a corpse with a wristband. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? Because this is key information. He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. I think the identity of this corpse is going to be really important. That rang a bell. I might be wrong. Now. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. Of course That's we are. Like it. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a corpse, huh? He looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. And? Out with it, owl face. Owl face. Okay, don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. Oh, God. The band is very likely from there. Okay. A relative? What kind of relative? Did he kill a relative? You don't know. I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. Did Albert switch places with him? Did Albert get out of the insane asylum and kill Ibn Wester and take his place? Because people have commented the whole way through about Ibn's behaviour being different recently. Is his brother out of the insane asylum and posing as him? Albert Wessler. Put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. Of course. You think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? Thanks, Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Yeah. The wonders never cease. Oh dear. Right, let's ask about Albert Wessler then. So. Albert Wessler. Which asylum do you mean, Bubo? So that's my hunch, anyway. It's that Albert's replaced him and purposely got Zip to get rid of the body in the hive so that the insects would just devour it to a point where it could never be identified. Either that or he's killed his twin brother, but why would Ibn kill his twin brother? It's got some fancy long name I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. Thanks, Bubo. Well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution for ill and damaged minds. Quite a beakful. Yeah, that is a very long name. Where can we find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six hour drive from Clawville. Oh, what? Maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. What, and the stitching you back together numerous times isn't useful? <laughs> finally? Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. <laughs> one more thing. What's that, yep. Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. It's and why is that? Bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So why would he get rid of his body? So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. <laughs> hmm. Not while you're alive, eh? 
truth. Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. The pleasure was all ours, Doc. Well, hopefully we won't ever have to come back here. So we've got a whole load of things now. So where's this brochure? There it is. Over there. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Call us 555-966. So I wonder if we have to call that number from the phone in our office or something. So that's interesting. I'm probably leaning with the theory that Albert's taken Ibn's place. I might be wrong. That might be just too over the top. I don't know. Um, we've been to the Nile, the Tsar Club and the newsstand. So yeah, let's go back to Hotel Atlas then. Yeah, so I guess we're going to have to go there and call the number. But yeah, it might yeah, be a little bit too extreme. I don't know. Take a deep breath. And think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What did I drag Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop. They end up like me. Well, let's hope so. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. <laughs> I love how the devs are poking fun at their own story. Yeah, but uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate ways. Oh. What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. He's trying to protect him. I'm not joking, Marty. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. I don't think Marty's going to go for that, to be God honest. Damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, <laughs> shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? I, I kind of... I like this side to Sonny. Like, he's trying desperately not to let Marty get dragged into being what he became. No, why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. Now, I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, Marty. Without you... I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. That's certainly Birds true. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> <laughs> like you say, partner. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, clock off, Marty. <laughs> I love, I love these two That's guys. The They're such a good pair. Sonny, I know and hate. <laughs> It's great. Oh, why is the drawer open? Weird. We can't even interact with it. So did we take something out of it earlier? What have we got? Old books, the city, pictures. Cheap whiskey. The phone's there. We've got the pile of papers. The typewriter. What's the pile of papers? papers? Just looking at them makes me think of Monica. Okay. Uh, we've got you the know, typewriter. I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marble. We've met her on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember? Her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. <laughs> You've read bit, too much of that. Bit too far. Garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. 
That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I know. <laughs> does Sonny have, uh, sorry, does Marty have anything else to say? Do we... Ah, yes, okay, we can... The insane Where asylum. Where exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion, of course. Yeah, why I wouldn't it be? It's a good idea to go there. What if it's a trap? I told you, you can still go back. Oh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum, that's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. I deserve that. <laughs> right. Natasha Katzenko. You still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah. yeah. That too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey, Sonny, she... she didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, <laughs> Marty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. <laughs> All right, the corpse of the wristband. What do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. Yep. I'm afraid Pretty dark. soon Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Because then the whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. That's, that's true. the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. <laughs> oh, I think that was an intentional red herring. Sounds really? About right. All right, let's ask about Zip then. Who'd have thought? I believe that little rat. I thought he changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us too. That's why I won't back down, even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, we should. should. Uh, okay. So, do we call the number now? Uh, wait, what was the number? Not that one. Five 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 nine six six. Let's call the number. And six. to uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being uh, uh, treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information if you don't have the password given to relatives. Do you have one? Hmm. No. Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. That Thank sounds you, suspicious. Miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself mm. a beautiful, starlit night. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Thanks. Uh, goodbye. Sounds like a trap. All right, well, we've got a new location we can go to. So, we have to go there. Ah, the thought gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, are we good to go? You got anything else you want to say? What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? You must have hit your head pretty bad. Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. So what do you think about everything? Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest... Yeah, we are. Ibn Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Uh, it doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. Good plan. That's if what we were going to body, do. We've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we got to ask him directly. And what do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case, and that all of it has something to do with the brothel. Yeah, but and the what? fact that Natasha used to be a <clears throat> courtesan. Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly. Ah, oh, just forget it, Marty. Okay, she's not part of my life anymore. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case and on making it out alive and helping Natasha too. Whatever you Fair say, enough. Oxford. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be, or she could even be behind everything. <laughs> That's no, true. You don't believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Marty. Who knows what we should believe anymore? Right. Let's so see. are we going to? Things got mixed up at the brothel. Oh. We've got to investigate. Let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. Um. Okay. So we're doing an investigation then. Um, so we've got possible sub... What happened at the brothel? I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, are we talking about back in the day? Or are we talking about when we went there? Probably back in the day, right? Because we're not on there. So... It burnt... Hang on. This is... Why can we not... Oh, I see. Hang on. Natasha. Natasha's secret. West is twin Molly's. Isn't it? So Natasha's secret is probably a thing. No, that didn't. Could be important, but not now. Almost, but not quite. Right. So unless Ibn has to go in here. Does Ibn know Natasha's secret? He does. Things got mixed up at the brothel. Ibn found out that Natasha was a secret spy. Natasha was a courtesan before and Ibn tried to keep that a secret. Natasha worked at the brothel. Uh, no, Natasha was the secret lover of Zip. No, okay. So... I, d I mean, she wasn't a secret spy, was she? Natasha so is this one? To work there, that's obvious. And Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. But why did he want to keep it a secret? Right, so we've got, is this going to be something from up here? Wesley's twin, is that going to go in there? No. Uh, okay, maybe the wristband? Yeah, so... Who could it belong to? There we go. Somebody else has to put Zip killed someone to keep this secret. I don't think so. Wristband is key, and the evidence that Zip killed someone because of Natasha's... Zip stole the wristband. Zip dealt with the body and kept the wristband to himself. Yes, that's the one, isn't it? We know that happened. Zip hid the body, but he kept the wristband. Alright, so... I guess Wesley's twin goes in here, then. 
Albert Wester, the resident of an insane asylum. Someone from the royal family? I don't think so. The dead body was Ibn Wester himself, but then who was the real killer? That was... That was what I was thinking. There is no dead body, the whole thing is just a hoax, no. But there's no evidence to say that other than the strange behaviour. Can we try it? No, it's not right. Okay. So, it isn't Ibn Wessler then. No, okay. I just wanted to try it again. Right, so is it Albert Wessler then? Body was almost it is. Albert Wessler, a resident of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? Exactly. Alright, uh, can we... We don't seem to be able to go so, to the... So, I get the couch? It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for you I... to sleep in. Whew, great idea. Alright, what's Lewis's number again? It was in his... little file, wasn't it? Where is he? 555932. So... He said almost certainly Albert Wessler. Didn't say it was for sure, because we don't know for sure. So, my theory could still be right. I don't think it is. That's just like a guess, but we'll see, I guess. There's obviously a key piece of information as to why Albert had to die if it's hey, Albert, Lewis, but we don't know it yet. Uh, it's me again. Oh, hello, Sonny. What's up? Were you sleeping, pal? Me? Would you open up a room for Marty? Thanks, Lewis. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Marty's gonna stay here then. So I guess we're going in the morning. Or no, we can go to the place now. Wow, it's all the way off the side of the map. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, chapter four. Farewell, my lovely. I slept like I used to sleep years ago. Like a miner or a soldier. Empty, dead tired. Then I saw Tessa, my darling little daughter. But no matter how hard daughter. I tried, I couldn't recall her face. I reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. Then I saw Molly. Uh, Molly was like real, a parakeet? Just a ghost of a memory. I'm here, I cried. But all I heard was laughter. Not hers. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. Just stood there laughing. Whoa. But her eyes were cold. Then she said something. Painted red. Painted red. Painted red. That was pretty creepy. That was just a dream, Sonny. Nothing more. I looked at Marty and I saw the same thing in his eyes as he probably saw in mine. It's time to hit the brakes, to turn back, go home and forget about all of this. <laughs> of course. I stepped on the gas instead. Oh, ho, ho. we're off to the insane asylum. Here we go. Anything good, but this. Oh, it's just like a horror movie. I was thinking the same. Appearances can be deceiving. Let's hope so. Oh, God. All right, well. We're going to explore this very creepy asylum in the next one. Things are coming together though, guys. So we'll see what happens next. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.